therapies. I am showing up today in all my dagginess uh, because <laughs> I haven't even had a shower or got changed yet. I've just been working, 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 doing distant healings all morning and healings on the telephone. But I am showing up to finish off the topic of intention that is being brought to us this week by the lovely Archangel Uriel who presents as a delicious yellow color and who is excellent at helping to bring focus and clarity to our life. A focus and clarity in our life that actually is informed from a centralized place of our soul purpose, okay? Archangel Uriel is all about soul and embodying all the way down to the cells, all the way down into the DNA, all the way down into the most microscopic levels of self, your soul presence, awakening to your soul presence at that level because when you awaken to your soul presence at that level then your soul character um, and with that your soul purpose because your soul purpose comes from your soul character okay so whatever is your character is what's natural to you so what comes naturally to your soul and therefore is reflected in your soul's character is your soul's nature and part of your soul nature might be uh, kindness and that sounds really simple right but kindness oh my goodness what an incredible healing phenomenon that is and it might come really natural to your soul to orientate itself from this place of kindness. So what I wanted to say with Archangel Uriel, right, is that when Archangel Uriel helps bring that clarity and focus, helps take you right down to that microscopic level of your body and your being, all the way down through those cells, into that cellular consciousness, down to that quantum level, and helps you awaken to your soul there, to your soul presence there, then what happens is that that soul presence starts to be able to circulate through your psyche and your psyche is the physical levels of self the psychological i.e behavioral levels of self the emotional levels of self the mental levels of self right that is the wonderfulness of Archangel Uriel. So Archangel Uriel is presenting on the topic of intention this week. And he was saying at the beginning of the week that there are all these movements that are taking place through your body, okay? Your thoughts are constantly moving. Your emotions are constantly moving. They're movements as well. Your behaviors are moving. My hands are moving. That's really easy to know and see what um, physical movement is. But you've got psychological, mental, and emotional movement taking place through you all the time. What focuses that movement? What is propelling those movements? And Archangel Uriel was saying at the beginning of the week that your movements in your body, your thoughts and your emotions and your behaviors can become quite scattered when there isn't enough intentional movement taking place. When your intention, when you're not honing your intention and helping it to be that precipice from which movement is taking place inside of you, okay? One of the things that Archangel Uriel would like us to really understand that he was saying to me when I was chatting to him at the beginning of this week about this topic of intention is that your heart, your heart is actually the natural state of your heart. We were talking about the natural state of your soul before. The natural state of your heart is stillness. Think of a body of water 
and uh, a, not a body of water with waves going through it or, or ripples everywhere, but it's so still and it's so calm that it looks like a mirror. That is the natural state of the heart, that level of stillness. And when your heart is operating at that level of stillness, that natural state of your heart enables your heart to be able to receive in the, the light, the life force, the influence of your soul and your spirit, and to be able to then reflect that out into your behaviors, your thoughts, and your emotions, and so forth. And let's face it, a lot of the time, even though that's the natural state of our heart, instead what we have is our thoughts and our emotions and our behaviours and the pressures of the roles and responsibilities in our life and everything that we need to get done, all kind of scrambles together in a way where that stillness, that calmness of the heart gets drowned out and then our mind starts taking authority in the body and it's the one that starts directing our will but uh, uh, from our place is the the part of our in is the the intent that starts driving the movements in their body our will and the thing about the mind is it doesn't have as close a relationship to the spirit it isn't built in a way where it is able to more uh, intuitively and instinctively have an ear open to your spirit so the words that Archangel Raphael was saying about that and I'm just going to change uh, screens for a moment so that I can actually read what Archangel Uriel was saying to me about that he was saying your intent is a place from which all these forces of will are moving through your body. And he's asking that, or he's not asking, he's actually doesn't ask us anything. That was the wrong, that was the wrong words to use. But he is, I guess, guiding and suggesting would be a better word. That's right, yeah. That we take a few moments throughout each day a few breaths and a few moments to just still ourselves and to just refocus our intent okay so that we can collect ourselves and be moving through the world in a less scattered haphazard way just bouncing off our thoughts and our emotions and our habits and being moved, as I said at the beginning of the week, from our wounds and from our habits and from our, um, our pain and um, the information that comes at us about what we expect the moment to be based on what we've experienced in the past, to move less from there and to move more from that reflection that comes from our soul and our spirit through the body of water of our heart and into our psyche. So what we're going to do now is just a little bit of an intention exercise. I just want to help you to understand how you can set your intent. So often intent is talked about in regards to setting a, a outcome. You know, I want to lose weight. I want to have more money. Uh, or I want to be, you know, more financially stable. Um, I want to, which are all worthy, you know, pursuits, of course. Um, I want to have, um, a, you know, a, a, a new relationship in my life. Sorry, I just, my brain just went off in a scattered moment there. Um, so from those sorts of places, and what Archangel Uriel would like us to know that it's really worthy to orientate your intent sometimes back into some core values, to the way that you want to live your life rather than the outcome that you want 
in your life okay so rather than the um the the actual thing that you want to do focus on how you want to be so for instance you might think about some some core values things like kindness integrity um, happiness um, grace uh, these kinds of things I should have uh, googled quickly a list of core values so I can run off a few more to you all while I'm sitting here talking to you I'm just quickly doing that now um, all right so we've got things like uh, appreciation love for self um, authenticity curiosity joyfulness truthfulness these kinds of core values just pick one don't overanalyze it just one that immediately pops into you right at this moment and for me at this moment i feel that i want to come back to the intention i was talking about at the middle at the beginning of the week and that is focusing on kindness for self because i found that really grounding and really centering for me to do that so just pick one all right pick that core value now the reason that we're going to core values is because we're talking about orientating the behaviors that you all these movements through the body the will is the movement through the body it is the force it is the activity we want to look at what sits behind that activity and make sure that that activity is being oriented in something and being guided and anchored in something that is truthful and meaningful and purposeful and real and authentic for you um, so that you can bring more focus and clarity to your thoughts and your emotions and your behaviors so given you enough time I hope to just grab a core value if you're listening live you can throw your core value into the comment section if you feel like being public but if you don't and feel like being private that's totally fine I'm going with kindness so we're going to invite Archangel Uriel in Archangel Uriel I humbly ask for you to move into my body and to move into my heart and to support me in bringing my intention into the center of my life into the center of my life force okay so you can repeat that after me I humbly ask you Archangel Uriel to come into my body with your yellow light to move into my heart with your yellow light oh there he comes oh gosh that feels nice I always love it when his light arrives it feels so good so I humbly ask you Archangel Uriel to come into my body to come into my heart I humbly ask you Archangel Uriel to support me to take kindness whatever core value you're working with you repeat after me I humbly ask you Archangel Uriel to help me take kindness and place it at the center of my life force and I'll just repeat that again in case you missed it and place it at the center of my life force and then finish off and just just spend a couple of moments actually just taking some some nice deep breaths and just I just keep holding that space for you for Archangel Uriel to merge into your heart I'll just keep holding that space while you're listening to me here of Archangel Uriel merging into your heart Archangel Uriel focusing the life force in your heart and in the rest of your body to incorporate that core value 
and your life force. Just holding the space while that happens. And then all you need to do is say, thank you, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Archangel Uriel. And that's it. All right. Any questions? Any requests of a topic that you'd like to take a bit more of a deep dive into? Let me know and uh, let me know how you went with how you found that, whether that presentation made some sense to you or supported you in any way. All right, bye for now.